Hi, my name is Justin Calvalli with Engineering Pro Guides. This is another FE mechanical exam video on the probability and statistics section, which accounts for four to six problems on the 110 FE mechanical exam. This is part 3D of the probability and statistics series, focusing on the chi-square distribution. The chi-squared value can be found with the equation below where you are taking the difference between an observed outcome and the expected outcome, squaring that value, and dividing it by the expected outcome. <laughs> For example, in a pass-fail situation, there are two possible outcomes with equal probability. Let's say you run a test 100 times, and so the number of expected fails would be 50, and the number of expected passes would be 50, assuming they're equally weighted with the same probability. But as you run the test, you count the number of passes and the number of fails, and you plug it in to the equation below. So let's say you have 40 passes and 60 fails by observation. The chi-squared value will, can be solved here, and the answer will be 4. Next, you take that chi-squared value, and you can compare it to what um, is shown in the NCES FE reference handbook. Um, it has these chi-squared tables, and in order to use this table, you need to ensure you are looking at the correct row. So, in order to find the correct row, you have to know your degrees of freedom. And in the chi-squared um, table, the degrees of freedom can be found by taking the number of variables or possible outcomes and subtracting it by one. So in this situation, we have two possible outcomes, pass or fail. So 2 minus 1 will give us our degrees of freedom as 1. Next, you navigate to the table and you find the correct row for your degrees of freedom. And then you're going to compare the chi-squared value that you calculated, which was 4. So we know that the answer is in between here. And it corresponds to a 0 0.05 and a 0 0.0 in between a 0 0.05 and 0 0.025 significance level. So the lower ends are called the um, significance levels. And typically in these situations, you want to ensure that you have greater than 5% significance level. If you do not, typically it is assumed that the relationship does not hold. So in this case, um, our value was 4, which is greater than the 5% significance level of 3.841. So this means our original hypothesis where the pass and fails were equally weighted should be rejected, and that relationship does not hold. That's the end of this video, and we'll get more practice on the chi-square distribution tables in the next set of practice problems towards the end of the series.